We'll open it up to head co or for head coach Rod Woodson for questions in person. Rob, what do you see from a guy like Sink Hugh on a day in, day out basis? And how, uh, how do you see that translate onto the field like it did today? Sink Hugh's a heck of a player, quick, uh, can make you miss in space. I uh, hope he, you know, when you're in this wet weather like this, you got to keep your feet under your body. You know, we got to find a way to get our seven stud cleats, which we still don't have. We're waiting for three weeks, four weeks now. They said oh, we're going to be getting seven stud cleats. We still don't have seven stud cleats. So uh, at the end of the day, though, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot. Um, I shouldn't have played, uh, you know, Huntley, who didn't practice all week. Uh, that's, that's, that's my fault. I gave that opportunity to show me otherwise. Um, that shot us in the foot. We dug ourselves in a hole and we dug a little bit more defensively. Uh, we're better than what we've been showing. Got to stop the run. Can't give up 170 yards rushing and think you're going to win. So, um, you know, that's been a downside. But to answer the question, St. Q's an excellent little slot receiver, can make big plays. Uh, just hopefully he'll keep his feet the next time. Coach, what did the refs say to you going into the halftime after that touchdown was taken back? They overturned it. I don't know what they saw. I know when I looked at the monitor, it looked like his leg was up. You know, anything outside of your, I mean, your, his elbow has to be down for the ball to be down. Seemed like his elbow was down to me after he had to, was on the white line with the other ball, with the ball across the front part of the line. It's crazy. Um, you know, we've been getting bugged, you know, we've been getting bit by the, the refs, and I've been telling the guys, hey, we got to play the refs. Uh, they, they're not our friends. They haven't been our friends all year. I don't think they're going to be our friends the rest of the year after me complaining so much. I'm probably the only person that's going to complain to them because I think they need to do their job and do it the right way unbiasedly if I complain or not. Um, that's their job. Um, but at the end of all, we got to make plays, and we haven't done that. How disappointed are you when the only four start, you know, we still have six oh, years ago? No, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed because I know we have a good football team. We've been in every single game. You know, we took some chances, went on a four, four, went on a, went forward on fourth down and didn't get it, ran the belly. Shouldn't have ran the belly. I would have preferred them to see stay in spread because of our big backs, they couldn't stop our big backs today. They, they, I don't think they, all our big backs are always falling forward for yardage. So I would have preferred to see our guys with our big guys at 15 or love it, you know, Rod or love it in there, or even Burt in there, you know, just getting the ball five yards down, coming downhill. I knew they, they'll gain a yard. So this is one of those things that we have to revisit as we keep moving forward. We're going to keep being aggressive as a football team, um, taking opportunities that we have, thinking that we're going to convert those. What did you see in press today? He came in and ran the offense. Who's that? Quarterback, I'm sorry. Oh, quarterback. oh Luis? Luis is a player. Luis, he's the ultimate pro. He's always going to be ready. Uh, he doesn't know, you know, he didn't know if he was going to play it or not or not. And then I told him, you know, I told him during the week. You know, Huntley hasn't taken that many snaps, so be ready. And he was. You know, he came in and led the team down the field. Uh, very smart. I w I, you know, I, w I want our guys to be a little bit more timely in the pocket with the ball, uh, knowing that that three-second clock has to be there in your mind. Uh, get rid of it. Uh, end all, throw, throw it away. But even that last one, it was a couple guys that he could have threw the ball to, uh, at least that opportunity. Not saying we could have got the first down, but at least had the opportunity. But with all that being said, the end all is that we defensively we had we didn't play that well. We gave up 32 points on defense. Um, a week ago we gave up 30. We gave up 377 yards passing last week. This today we gave up 175 rushing. The last time to these dudes we gave up 200 something yards rushing. You're not going to win football games doing that. Would you mind comment a little bit about the play of uh, your opponent about Washington? They seem to be uh, well, playing. They run a college football. They run a college system, and if you don't fit up the runs, it works. They had three, you know, three pass plays of of substance. Uh, the rest of them were, you know, eight, ten yard passes, uh, and they had the three, I think, two quarterback runs, three quarterback runs, or quarterback draws, where they kept it, and they had some they had some long ones with that. It's a, it is a true college system. Um, you know, you got to be able to fit it up, and you got to fit it up all day long. And if you don't, big plays will happen. I imagine that you guys came in with a, 
I guess, a different game plan because, I mean, one of their best linebackers out of the game. Um, you know, did that plan, did you guys execute that exact plan? Or do you feel like, you know, it just kind of went out the window? No, I, I, you know, we were running the ball. We thought even if, if, uh, if 43 was in the game, I think it's Bernard, or Bernard, yeah. Bernard yeah, yeah, I think if Bernard was in the game, we thought we still could run the ball against him. We think we can run the ball against anybody. We think we have a solid offensive line that we can move the ball against uh, anybody. Um, we did that, co not consistently, but we did it in chunks at times. Um, just want to see that be more positive going down the line, going down the road. Anything else in person or can we go to Zoom? Any questions for Coach Woodson on Zoom? Yeah, I, I got one real quick. Coach, uh, how much of a disappointment of a maybe break momentum was it to not score after that uh, first kickoff in the second half and they fumbled it? Yep, disappointing. Very disappointing. You know, when you have that, those opportunities, they don't come around too often. You've got to be able to, to convert that into touchdowns. And, uh, you know, when we're going to forward on fourth down, you've got to be able to find a play that's going to be a positive play. Uh, unfortunately for us, it didn't work out. Well, those seem like more Davis is capable of in the past, obviously. Uh, are there any ways to get more involved in the weeks going forward? I hope so. I mean, you know, he, he, did, he didn't finish the game. Um, so we got to hope that, you know, it's, it's cramping or something that nature. I'm not really sure yet. Um, he'll get an MRI tomorrow, uh, and we'll work through that. But we're, we're trying to find our playmakers and a way to get them to football in space so they can make plays for us. Coach, thanks for your time tonight. Appreciate you. CJ, um, just to go back to the, the run game that the defenders put on. I mean, seeing uh, Jordan, I always call him Jason, I'm sorry. Jordan go for as many yards as he did today. Mm -hmm. How do you re-motivate the team after seeing a 41-yard game from the QB? Right. Uh, that's just kind of what was Simon. Um, you know, guys, we, we all as a defense got to sit down, break the film down, and, and just know our assignments. Um, you know, somebody got to have a quarterback, somebody got to be in each gap to make sure the running back doesn't go there, so we'll get it fixed. CJ, go back home. You have three more at home. Uh, what can you say about you know kind of putting this in the four weeks in the in the rearview mirror and just kind of focus on the task at hand? Right. It always got to be a next game mentality. Obviously, uh, we, this is not the start that uh, we wanted wanted to the season, but um, it's always that next game mentality. Go back home, play your best there, and then uh, you know once we get that first win, hopefully you know we keep it rolling. How how difficult is it to have a team like this? They they switch quarterbacks, you know. Multiple, and multiple times in the possession, um, how how hard is that to adjust as a defender? Yeah, for sure. I mean, both of those uh, quarterbacks, they bring something different to the game. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a good quarterback run game, and um, they just got options, you know. So as a defense, it, it is pretty hard, but all you got to do is just do your job. Like I said, man, um, we just didn't do our job tonight. Anything else for CJ? Appreciate you, man. Thank you. How do you uh, go ahead. Go ahead. How you feel right now? Uh, I mean, it's a tough loss, man. You know, um, the team really fought hard. You know, we shot ourselves in the foot early. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to pull out the win. But, you know, I still believe in the group of guys in that room. The coaches all believe in us. And um, we just got to fix the little things and keep fighting. What are some of the things that um, get said on the sidelines or in the locker room um, to go out there and still compete, even if you're down? Yeah, so we came into halftime. Um, 